Hi, Kit Lachlan here. A colleague of mine who's a doctor who works in an emergency room in a big American hospital and who's also a concert cellist asked me for some simple to do grip strength improving exercises, something that can be done at home with the minimum amount of equipment. So I've got two post office rubber bands, a towel, and if you're not quite strong enough to do a full chin up, I've got one of these bands which you can get from a company like Jump Stretch or any of the people that sell these strong heavy rubber bands which are designed to take part of your body's weight in any body weight exercise. So we're going to put this aside and put it in my pocket in fact for the first little bit. And the first thing I want to show you is how to use the towel to start the whole grip string thing. So I'm just going to turn away from you for a second, throw the towel over a beam. <clears throat> now, you may, not, you may not have exposed beams in your house, but you'll be able to find something around your house that you'll be able to hang a towel over, or something just outside the house, or a play set, playground set or something like that. Okay, exercise number one. If you look closely at my hand, you'll see I'm trying to fill the hands with as much of the towel as I can. And the first exercise, you'll want to have a clock or something like that standing by, or one of those little devices that um, gives you a 10 second beeping signal, something like that. Because one of the best ways that we found for improving any kind of strength activity is to hold a position for time. And 10 to 15 seconds is a good place to start. So just watch, I'm gripping on as hard as I can. I slowly lower myself so as not to jerk the tendons like this and let the arms be pulled out of the body completely. But you'll notice that I'm still holding some of the weight of my body on my feet. And so let's say that's 10 seconds and then I take the weight back on my legs and the exercise ends. And I recommend for this particular exercise you do this three to five times holding for 10 seconds. Now to make it a little bit more difficult, this is what the band is for. If you want to try your whole body's weight but with the band taking some of the body's weight, then you just pull the band down like this, you step into it, step into it with both feet like this, quite a tight band this one, then reach up and grab the tail as before and watch, I'm now letting myself hang down and I take my feet off and I'm just hanging here for time. So let's say that 10 seconds has gone by and then I stand back stretching the band again, take one foot out and come out of the band. Now actually because this band is quite strong that was easier than the first version that I did. So let's say that's an intermediate version. The third version will be to hold on to the towel as before but this time when you hang down you're going to take your feet right off the floor like this and hold for that 10 seconds. So this is the whole of the body weight being supported at arm's length and you'll, you will have to work much harder on your grip, of course, to do that. Now the next stage is to try some band-assisted chin-ups. So once again, I'll pull this down, step into it carefully. Again, do both legs, reach up and hold the towel. Make sure you've got a firm grip on the full towel, hang down like this, and then pull yourself up like this. One, Hang down, relax, and two, and so on. And work up to doing five like that. Then the next most difficult version is we, what we call asymmetric grip. So one side of the towel I'm holding up really high and the other side lower. And the arm that's holding up high will do more work. And this is what it looks like. One, hang right down two, and if I were doing this for real, I'd then take a bit of a break without taking the bands off from my feet. Then I'd change the hands round, so like this, and like this, and three, hang right down always, it's the top arm that will get the most stretch, and four, like that. And again, to come out of the band, one foot out first, and step out of the band. Now the last, once you've done that, and you might go through one or two or even three bands getting lighter and lighter each time, then it's time to do the full towel chin up. And by this stage, your forearm will already be strong. So this is what it looks like. Hold, hang down, one, two, and so on. And the last version, which I won't demonstrate, is 
asymmetric grip with full body weight. Now, of course, these are not just hand exercises. They're forearm, arm, back, in fact, whole body exercises, but they're sensational, you'll love it. So that's the first exercise. Now, you'll notice that the first exercise, if, when you're practicing it, it tends to tighten up the hand and tighten up the forearm. So the next exercise, although it's a strengthening exercise, it tends to have an opening effect in the hands themselves. And what it is, is fingertip push-ups, but not fingertip push-ups where we're hanging off the ligament and stretching the fingers backwards, but rather where we're actually trying to curl the fingers into the floor that we're pressing on. So let me show you what that looks like. The easiest version is simply to have your knees underneath your hips like this and lean weight on your fingertips and then grip the fingertips into the floor. Now that might not look like much, but I'm actually doing quite a bit of work um, when I'm in this position. And then the second version, the, again, the easiest version of the exercise is simply this. Just watch, taking the weight onto the arms like this, go down until the nose just touches the floor and push back up. Now you might not have noticed this, but I was using these muscles under the arms to pull my shoulders down to keep everything tight. And also you might have noticed I kept my elbows in close to my side. So let me just show you what that looks like once more. Like this. Take a breath in, hold the breath in, grip the floor as though you're trying to push the fingers and grip the fingers together through the floor. That's the second version of the exercise. The third version of the exercise, I'm sure you can see where this is going. And in fact, as a general rule, when you want to make any body weight exercise more difficult, you simply lengthen the levers involved, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So the second version of the exercise looks like this. And so on. Now, before we get on to the third and the most difficult exercise of all, which is fingertip push-up done off the feet, let me explain how to progress these exercises. In the hanging exercise we did first, you need to be able to hang with your full body's weight for five sets of 10 seconds before trying any of the chin-up exercises, even the band assisted ones. This is my view anyway. And the reason is that when the arms are extended and you're hanging your body's weight on it, the tendons get strong, the ligaments get strong, and the effect is more on the fascial and connective tissue than it is on the muscles. And that tissue is much slower to adapt than the muscles themselves. Most people get into doing chin-ups too quickly. I reckon it's worthwhile taking a month or two of just hanging exercise to condition everything before you do any chin-ups. And so it is here with this. Don't try, don't even think about trying the push-up on your fingertips version off your feet unless you can do the off the knees version for again, say five sets of five. So let me show you now what the, what the full version looks like. I'm gripping my fingers into the floor, body's held tight like a plank, glutes squeeze, back straight. I go down like this, hold and come up. Pause, squeeze, everything's straight. Come down again, trying to grip my fingers through the floor and push back up like this. Now again, I stress, don't try to do this version of the exercise too quickly, it's intense. And also, if you were watching carefully, you would have seen that I held the whole body completely straight. And this is a whole um, body exercise, not just an arm and a finger exercise. Very good for conditioning the core. And the third exercise, I reach into my pocket and bring out my little rubber bands. This is fantastic for any musician. But what this is, is two post office rubber bands. And what we're gonna do is just watch. They go around the absolute tips of your fingers and thumb and we simply spread, 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 or spread and hold. Count to 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come back in again. Then when you get stronger, use two bands or you can even buy some bands. There's a company called Iron Mind that sells a whole um, variety of these. We use them in our gym, in the monkey gym. So watch, one, hold, relax. One, hold, relax. Make it harder by bringing them right out on the tips of the fingers like this. Stretch, we're not really stretching, we're contracting all this surface here, but we're opening up the palmar surface of the forearm and relax. And that's the basic sequence. 
Always finish with these and also too consider doing some wrist and forearm and finger stretching exercises too, which I think we have in another video. Anyway, try these, you'll like it. I guarantee your grip strength will go through the roof and they're as suitable for women as they are for men. They're good for everyone. Thank you.